Hey there, Facebook. It is Vanessa here again, your speaker, trainer, and coach from Live, Love, Give. And I'm coming to you super, super late. Um, I'm trying to like make ship some light right now because it's um it's actually like pitch black outside. It gets really dark here. Um, here in uh, where am I? Wellington in um in New Zealand. I'm super tired. Oh my god, I didn't sleep last night. But I have a great message for you guys, um, which I'm really hoping that you're going to find valuable, which is to practice overcoming your triggers rather than avoiding them. And um, the reason why this topic has come up um, is because I had another brilliant call with a group that I am working with currently um, right now. And um, it was just a catch up, just building the community and um, connecting. And uh, one of the topics that we were really um, kind of resonating with one another around was the whole, um, you know, reestablishing kind of family connections. And, um, you know, one of the beautiful um, women in the group um, spoke and shared about a success for her this week was reestablishing and reconnecting with some family members. And, um, and, totally resonated with me right now because I'm actually visiting some family here in uh, Wellington. In Sorry, my internet is really bad as well. So I'm currently visiting some family here in New Zealand and, um, and definitely, you know, some family members that I haven't seen in ages. It's been really, really cool to reconnect. And, um, and it brought up this whole concept of you know, how we can tend to avoid um, triggering situations or people in our lives. And a lot of the times that can come up with our family members. And then what we were sort of getting into the conversation around is that so many of us don't see um, our family members, you know, maybe we just see them for Christmas or whatever, and we might be growing ourselves in different areas or in different relationships that we spend a lot of time in, but then we get back in these connections with, um, say, family members that we never see, and we revert back to these old patterns that ultimately really need to be broken through, but we avoid them. And so we never actually get the opportunity to grow through them and progress and test stuff out and work things out and understand each other better. And the same thing is true um, in many other of our relationships, you know, so it's not just... It's absolutely not just, um, you know, in our family relationships that maybe we don't see very often, but also um, in our relationships that we have every day, in our everyday lives, and we avoid conflict. You know, we avoid the challenging things, we avoid the challenging topics or whatever it is, um, because we're so scared of like rocking the boat and we, we want to avoid uh, conflict at every cost. Um, but at the end of the day, when you know we finally we've been holding that beach ball of resentment emotion all those triggers underwater trying not to rock the boat tiptoeing walking around on eggshells to try and avoid conflict and then suddenly like you know you can't hold a beach ball underwater for all that long it's going to explode at some point right and then when it does explode because we've been avoiding the very stuff that we need to work through um, we end up doing more damage than good and we don't end up really growing because then we've got a long period of time before we, you know, another beach ball explodes and, um, and we end up really sabotaging the success of our relationships and our connections. Whereas if we face our fears and we move toward the conflict and we address the challenges, um, we're, given, we're giving ourselves a lot more opportunities to actually grow and actually get better in regards to actually managing conflict and handling it so that when stuff do, does inevitably come up, because we're, you know, we're all different human beings walking around with our own uh, viewpoints and perspectives of the world, you know, we're living our subjective experience in an, in an objective world, we're going to have conflict, right? We just need to accept that and, um, and instead move toward it in a way, in a growth mindset that is like, hey, I get another opportunity here to learn how to manage conflict better, to learn how to grow from this experience, um, you know, to learn more about myself, more about somebody that I care about or care about creating a relationship with. And from that point, you know, we can actually grow. But, you know, that's why the, the concept of like never seeing particular family members 